You're listening to Zap Nights Zap Chats, a monthly video game discussion. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Zap Chats. I'm your host, Danny. I'm your co-host, Kaylee. Kaylee, what's up? <laughs> oh, you know. What you been playing lately? Um, Animal Crossing, the newest. Yeah. Oh, that's right. That's right. Update. I forgot about that. Yeah. Um, I have been playing. We we played a little bit of Final Fantasy VII UV. Yeah, yeah. Um, the UV DLC that was pretty cool. Oh, uh, we're planning on beating that for the next podcast episode, mm-hmm. which should be on December first. Um, but today we're recording in St. Louis, Yay! so this is this is vastly different. So if we <laughs> sound a little different. Um, we're on kind of like a mobile rigged setup so that we can actually record on site. We just finished doing the um, the Pokemon Go St. Louis Safari Zone event. Yeah. And this is something that's been planned for a couple years. It was originally supposed to be sometime in 2020, but because of COVID, everything got pushed back. Yeah. And we still did the event in 2020 but we did it like, locally yeah and like remotely I yeah guess. and basically like all the spawns still happen so like you know in pokemon go you have spawns that pop up but uh for the event they were very specific spawns that popped up and the tickets were like i don't know 12 dollars, maybe 20 at most something like that um but when you bought the ticket then you get the exclusive pokemon that spawned during that time for that event uh, now we had bought the tickets thinking we were going to be in yeah. St. Louis then, then COVID, then COVID hit <laughs> and it, everything got pushed back and pushed back and pushed back. Well, they decided to allow anybody who had bought a ticket previously to come back to, um, they Sorry, offered yeah. you to come back to yeah. St. Louis for free. Uh, I mean, for free though, we did already pay for the event. Yeah. So, you know, we, we decided to take a drive down to St. Louis. We went to um we went to the park that they were hosting at the yeah. Tower Tower Grove. Tower yeah. Grove Park. Um it was a really yeah, we were expecting it to be a lot colder. Yeah. <laughs> but it wasn't terrible until like afternoon and yeah. then it got really cold. Started to get a little bitter but cold. the event itself was I don't know, it was really it, cute when we first walked up. Yes. It was Pleasant. I think our expectations were a little bit higher than what was met. Yeah. But it wasn't like it was like a completely like waste of time. Like it wasn't like we were very disappointed. It's just it could have been better. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. It was really neat to walk up to the event and they have like this this big archway that says like Safari Zone St. Yeah. Louis and, and you walk underneath and they have like Pokemon music blasting yeah, that was and that cute. was so cool to be walking into the park and have like pokemon music playing yeah. and like the spawns are popping up and there's people all over that are wearing like pokemon you know yeah, like shirts and, and stuff, yeah. yeah it was Adorable. just it was really cool that perspective there were a few things that i wish they would have done more of they had um they had some pokes like physical pokestops yeah, those that were, were kind of neat. Super cute. And there was a qu- there was a decent amount of them. And they had a couple stand-ups of the professor, Professor Willow. And then your team leaders. And then the team leaders. Yep. Um But that was kind of yeah. it. Yeah. There was a l- I think you had mentioned this earlier. It was a lot of missed opportunities. There yeah. was a lot of potential to be doing a lot of cute things. I think that there was a lot of I, I don't know. I, I kind of wonder if this was thrown together pretty quick. Yeah. That's kind of what it felt yes. like. Um, I feel like there could have been some organization as far as something else to do mm-hmm. while you're there. Like, getting together with fellow fans was a lot of fun, but I feel like there could have been something to do that would have been a little more interactive. I had suggested, like, while we were there, we were talking about having, like, a, a passport book. Yeah. Where you, you walk stamps. into the park and you get a little passport book and then you walk around to all the Pokestops and you get a stamp of the Pokestop and then when you fill it up you get a exclusive card or mm-hmm. you know a, a an exclusive research task in the in the app. Something just to make it 
you know, just to add a little more yeah. extra something to it. The only things that were really passed out were these paper Pikachu masks or like hat. The were visors. Like visors. Yeah, they were which visors. Which we've seen those before. Yeah, they handed those out at, I believe, Target. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. With um, like the release of one of the games. Yeah, something. And, and like, we had already had them, so it yeah. wasn't a big deal. But then also they were handing out Professor Willow cards, which is the exclusive professor in Pokemon Go. And that's great, except you already had a chance to pick those up, which we did. We if picked you up bought a lot of those. Well, if you bought well, no, I mean before, before yeah, the yeah. event. You could get one if you bought a Pokemon Go exclusive like merchandise mm-hmm. from the Pokemon store online. So if you bought anything Pokemon Go related online, you got this card. And it's like, they're passing those same c- cards out, yeah. which is great if, like, you didn't get those before, but it's not like you could re-enter those codes to get the exclusive research task that they had a code for, like, mm-hmm. a special research task. But, like, you couldn't do it again, so we had already done it. It yeah. wasn't, it was like, no, it, it wasn't anything special. It was just kind of... yeah. Well, here are leftover stuff that we had laying around. I, I want to say I'm not a number sister. I want to say that the price of the ticket was fifteen dollars. Yeah, I don't know. But like, I would have been willing to have paid a little bit more for more stuff like that. It would have been a lot more fun and worth because you know you're walking around collecting Pokemon, which is fine. But that you do that already anyway. Or if you actually had a purpose for, like you say, with the stamps or just. Even just a little bit of extra, and not that I want stuff, but like it would just would have made it better. Something to make it more fun for you being here physically, yeah. and like the majority of the event, I kind of feel like we could have just done at home. Honestly, because yes. the spawns we could have all gotten at home. the The raids we could have done at home. the The only cool thing was like the visors that they were handing out and this card. And the opportunity to buy stuff at the Pokemon yeah, the merchandise, yeah, like, the Pokemon place. Center pop up or whatever yeah. you wanted to call it. But I mean that that was neat to be able to pick up some you know plushies and shirts and Niantic stuff. Niantic had its own little station, too, yeah, which I thought was kind of cute. It was cute. We didn't buy anything from no, them, but, but it was neat to see that Niantic was trying to have a little yeah. presence there. I mean, aside from them being Pokemon Go, yeah. Um. Yeah, it, it really felt like a few missed opportunities. Something, they really needed something else to make it worth your time and worthwhile of being here physically. Yeah. You know, I and another thing that kind of bugged me is the fact that it kind of felt like anybody could just walk in and yeah. experience the the event. Like, there was nobody scanning tickets or any sort of thing. It was well, just... Shoot. There you just no... walk in the park, and yeah, you if you didn't buy a ticket, technically, you wouldn't have anything in-game to be able to do, but you could still like do all the raids. You could still walk around and experience yep. the physical Shoot, environment. Even the stuff they were hitting out. They, one of the ladies stamped our hands. We had already gotten like a bunch of cards by that <laughs> I know. Point. Yeah, I think, <laughs> I think me, you, and Lori, we all got like three sets of cards three sets of cards yeah, yeah. Like nine different professor willow cards yeah. and honestly we could have gotten more but we just started turning them down yeah yep so yeah it was just so and and going back to that it's not like they scanned anything so like literally anyone off the street could have walked in and yeah. picked up this stuff which is okay it's just you know if you pay money for a ticket you kind of want that exclusive experience yeah. And I feel like that that was missing. And and like even the the merchandise, they had the like Safari Zone merchandise, and they had the Safari Zone like um the Pokemon Center yeah, 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 um, the- stuff that you could buy. But like that even that wasn't exclusive to I- the people who bought a ticket. Yes. That was like anyone could just walk up there, guess- which is. Oh, it's okay Fair to a certain degree because they still want to make sales. Yeah, I understand but it, 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 but it, it for feels some of that stuff that we were waiting in line for was starting to sell out as right. soon as we got there. So, like for people who bought a ticket, they should have priority. It's funny because in order for us, sorry, let me backtrack just a little bit. Mm-hmm. When we bought these tickets, um, it it unlocks the thing in your game. 
Well, then, because this was coming back around and we were going to go physically go to the to the event, we specifically had to unlock it in the game. We had to have like a special code to be able to reserve our, our place in the game to yep. be able to go and do this. Apparently, it didn't matter because like literally anyone could have just showed up and it had been. Yeah. I mean, granted, again, you have to be able to unlock it in the game itself, but like to to verify to verify your registration of physically being here like it meant nothing it meant nothing anyone could have walked up and bought any of the merch or experienced any of the physical locations just like a paid you know a paid yeah. ticket person which it it made me a little irritated just because you know here I drove all this way yeah. and wanted something to be barely... personal to the people who bought that experience. And you know that they've had past things like more like like you were talking about a blow up Snorlax, yeah, like I've a lot of pictures. photo opportunities, and there really was not Minimal. a whole lot. Yeah, it was kind of it was kind of sad. I do feel like though we made the most out of it. Absolutely. You know, we still had a lot of fun. We did, yeah. We walked quite a bit. We walked around and enjoyed catching Pokemon and talking to some of the Pokemon yeah. Go fans. And you know, we did a bunch of raids, which was cool. We caught a handful of shinies. Um, I got like two of the legendary oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. guys shiny for one of them, yeah. So that was kind of cool. Um, but I mean really as an experience as a whole, I feel like it could have been more f- more involved yeah well shoot the staff some of the staff members i don't even think they played that's right one of them was like acting like he knew what he was doing and then was like so how do you do this (laughs) yeah he walked up to us and he's like so what are these professor willow cards and we're like well you unlock them to get like special research he realized he's like well what is the special research and we're like uh, just like catching Pokemon and like we had already done it so yeah. it's not like we could unlock it and show him right. it was just we we'd done it a while back so I couldn't remember exactly what it was think he knew what we were talking about as far as tasks were I, he was like so what do you gotta like take videos yeah. or something it's like well there are some that do you do do that but not this one in particular Honestly, he had a brilliant idea that would have been great to have had you have to do certain things like to t- take a video of something to be entered into a contest or something. <laughs> I would have loved to have seen some raffles or something. Yeah, literally anything to be a little more engaging with the people who were there. Actually, I want to say the fans were putting on more of an attempt to have like community involvement very than true. anyone else. Yeah, yeah, very true. There was um, the Pokemon Trainer Club uh, is, is a pretty big YouTube presence Mm -hmm. and a lot they they do like pokemon go very specifically pokemon go um event updates and stuff Mm -hmm. and people watch that show to like get updated on what's going on and and what pokemon to look for and how to prep for events and whatever uh but he the the person who puts on that youtube channel he was doing like a meet and greet with with his fans and that was really cool we we stopped by and said hi to him we'll be in a video yeah yeah (laughs) just a tiny bit a little bit yeah and then um there were there were a couple other people like i think that there was like a local group there that was putting on uh, battle information uh, and like kind of like i don't know if it was informative i think they were getting together to do stuff yeah it sounded like that they were putting on like a, a little battle league together of people just but they were doing like they were like you know if you're one of the first few there you get prizes i think and they were doing off like a raffle of sorts too and like way more attempt than than yeah anyone else as far as staff the was official yeah, yeah the official pokemon group or niantic you know what? or whatever they had a lot of workers there doing the same stuff they couldn't take like two or three of them to organize just just to come else. up with something yeah. like literally anything just to make it a little more a little oh, more. You know, they had these different stations. They were supposed to be like, here's your team. <laughs> like, team likes, like, group. Mystic and, oh, yeah, yeah. Group, group. Tents. <laughs> but they weren't even, like, specified Themed. which ones. It was just random places to sit down. And, like, it would have been more fun to, like, here's some Valor stickers. Yeah. Here's some, like, literally, yeah. literally anything. But, like, if you would just sit down with like a random fan, you would have more information, like know what to, where to go with. Yeah. Then yeah, it was just wow. Yeah, yeah. 
I missed I opportunities really is what it was. To be fair, this is our first Pokemon yes. Go event. It might be so it's hard for us to gauge what like a normal non COVID like big event would have been like because like it does seem like the one in Chicago might have been a little more grand. Yeah, and that's from what I've talked to people about the the like Go Fest is a big deal and like they put on yeah. a way better show. But like this year, Go Fest was all remote more or less. There were a few things to do like in Chicago and major yeah. cities, but with it being worldwide. It just, you but know, it, you didn't have any of those exclusive, like, location yes. things to do I like will, this. I will say, though, it was nice not being super crowded. Yeah. Because that was nice having some breathing room and, you know, there was oh, and plenty of places to kind of sit and rest. And it, that was the nice aspect of it. You know, there's just, there's room to breathe and room to move and... Plenty of places. So. Yeah, and we we picked up some plushies and shirts yeah. from the Pokemon Center, and it wasn't overly crowded. We didn't have to wait in line terribly long to get stuff. It was cool because they had all of their stuff, all the stuff that they had physically on site. You could scan up a, a QR yeah, code, and you could just buy idea. stuff online and then pick it up. And yeah, it saves the line. It saves the hassle of, I don't know what I want. I don't know what I want. Well, you could just take it and sit down and contemplate over it and put stuff in your car. What I liked about it, and what they were telling us about it, too, was now you don't have to walk around with your merchandise. We're going to hold it here. It's ready. It's got your name attached to it. It's already been paid for. You come and pick it up when you're ready. And I liked that. I did, too. Yeah, that made it super easy to be hands-free yeah. until we were ready to have need it both hands well, especially when it's bitterly cold like our right. hands were starting to freeze by the end <laughs> right um we did we did grab our plushies a little bit before we left and did some like yeah some nice pictures. some pictures while we were there with um some of the pokestops we'll we'll post stuff on instagram if it's not already up there so you guys can see a little bit of something that we did while we're there but i mean it was I it wasn't a wasted trip for yes. sure. I just feel like that there was missed opportunities to do more. I definitely would not do it again if it's just this. Right. It's yeah. not worth the five hour drive and car troubles. Sure. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. We on our way here, we ran into like there was there was a big piece of metal debris in the road. And we ran over it with our car. <laughs> and like, literally ran over there was, it. <laughs> there was no avoiding it. It just like, it went under the car and it, the, the metal piece got wedged into the like undercarriage. Yeah. And so we pulled off to the side of the road. We called a tow truck. The tow truck lifted the car up and the, the metal piece like fell out. And this is the Midwest. So it's snowing by yeah, now. Yeah. Like literally <laughs> we're like in a mini snowstorm and it's freezing cold and we're on the side of the road and this like metal chunk is like hanging off the car. And it, so we finally got it off and um, we looked at the car and the car seemed okay. And then like we decided not to go and have yeah. a mechanic look at it. <laughs> And we uh, we just started driving down the road, and it's like, it was driving fine, and we, we pulled off and was, like, turning a little bit to make sure it turned fine, and, like, it seems okay, so let's just continue our journey <laughs> to, to St. Louis. But, yeah, that was a rough start to our yeah, trip, we, for we sure. Were, I think we were only, like, an hour away from home. I, yeah, yeah, about an hour yeah. outside of town. Yeah, sure. So that was an experience. But, yeah, I mean... Not a wasted trip. I we had fun we made regardless. The best of it. Yep. We we tried hard to experience everything that the Safari Zone St. Louis had to offer. Yeah. I just again I wish that it was a little bit more. Yeah. Um but yeah. Good good times. I would you do you think you would want to do another Safari Zone in the future? I think I would like to do one maybe in a bigger city possibly to see if it's better i don't think i would come all the way back down here unless i was planning on doing something else i feel like like i wouldn't come just for this you know what i mean mm, yeah i feel like i would give the safari zone thing another try mm -hmm. and see if you if know maybe maybe this year it was just kind of blah because yeah. of covid and whatever else you know was going on maybe a full planned one would yeah, be better maybe if we knew what if, if there was updates of 
look forward to seeing this. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. But, yeah, I think I would give it another shot. It's just, it's tough to say, yeah. you know. Um. So yeah, let's. You want to talk about Animal Crossing a little bit? Yeah. You might know a little bit more about it than I do, but they Animal Crossing came out with a huge yes. update just this past it's couple weeks. Apparently, the last planned big update. I don't know if they. I don't even think they're doing little mini updates. I think they call they call, they're calling this the 2.0 update, right? Uh, two point yeah, yeah. 2.0 update, and they have like thousand like like thousands of items that are new yeah, lots of new and... item content they've also incorporated this is separate to it like it's not necessary for the update but they also dropped like the happy home designer like addition to i don't remember what yeah, that's the dlc called, but... right yeah so then you get to do so happy home designer if you don't know was uh the 3ds it it was it's yeah i think it was 3ds mm-hmm. where you basically are just a home designer and you get to design more than just homes, but they've incorporated it with your island. Yeah, with your island, kind of. So that when you want to go do that, you go to work through the airport. You go to work and design homes, which I really appreciated that, that they did that. I thought that it was smart that they did that as DLC mm-hmm. instead of a whole separate game. Um, just that way, you know, people who like the Animal Crossing thing and they want the, you know, they they want that they can take their character and have that experience mm-hmm. with their already established character where doing a happy home designer it's almost like you're a new character now yeah. and then you're you know doing this side thing so like there's a disassociation to animal crossing and the happy yes. home home designer and that's that's the nice thing where it's it's more than just you're going to work and doing your separate game it's some of the your characters can go with you to this new. You can invite area. them over, yeah. And I, some of that stuff translates to how you do stuff in your own island, as far as decorating and again, lots of new items. Partition uh, walls were introduced, thankfully. Yeah, that looked really cool. Um, yeah, just a lot of little stuff too, but like it all adds. Oh, you get to do uh cooking now. Yeah, that's a cool. Really that's cool. really cool. I haven't had a chance to do that yet, but um, apparently you get to grow stuff too. Yeah, there's there's lots of lots of vegetables Veggies. and stuff that you can grow to help you do the cooking recipes. Yeah, and um, they added a whole bunch of new villagers. It was and it was not only. Big- brand new villagers but also a lot of returning yeah. villagers that they didn't previously have in the game so that's pretty it cool it was a fairly beefy update i i yeah. pleasantly surprised with it a lot of stuff that they should have had yes from I the beginning agree, but it's here finally <laughs> i have to sure. say now the game is complete like yes. i feel like the game should have been this to begin yes. with and now the game's complete but you know Instead of waiting, what is it, like a year and a half since the game has been released? Yeah. So, like, instead of waiting an extra year and a half, like, you you get, you get you had the game early, you had the minimal content, then they slowly updated it to this yeah. point, and now it's finished. It's just that instead of having your total content now, you had it in increments, and I don't, I don't know, I have mixed feelings about that. We've talked about it before. Yeah. I mean, it is what it is at this point. We can't sure, yeah. change it. No, of course not. As but far as... I can complain. Gosh well, yeah, dang I it. Agree. <laughs> what they've done, though, really good. Very happy with the content. Finally, Brewster is on your island. <laughs> yeah, Brewster. That was a big yeah. complaint. People want a Brewster. Um, yeah. If you played Animal Crossing and you're wanting just a little bit more, it's a gr- this update is a great opportunity to kind of come back and some new stuff there's no way that you haven't heard of this update if you've played animal crossing at all like it is everywhere everyone's talking about it if you're listening to this you either a have no interest in animal crossing or b you know about this yeah like there is no (laughs) middle ground Someone's like, what? what? Is a new update? Oh my gosh. <laughs> and how is it that that one person is listening to this? <laughs> oh man. Yeah, seriously. Um, yeah, good update. Really happy with it. Yeah, it looks it looks pretty cool. There's a lot of really neat stuff. And the the home designing aspect, I've been watching Lori play quite a bit and it looks really cool. Mm-hmm. And I, I could see where you somebody who has that mindset of wanting it to look really nice yeah has that freedom to just 
pull whatever items you want and really yeah. make it. I mean, you're limited to some degree, but like you get unlocked stuff to, too. But yeah, to be able to pull in those items and make it really nice. Yeah. You know, you could spend hours doing that yep. on any one house, let alone, you know, the entirety of it. So, and it kind of seems almost endless. Like every, potentially every villager could have their own house that they so. want to do. Plus you have all of the, you know, after you unlock everything, you could go back and, and redesign stuff, some of yeah. the ones that you did before. So well, and you, as you're, you're unlocking stuff, mm -hmm. so you're going to want to go back to the places that you didn't have these items and really fix stuff up. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I think it'll take a long time for people to 100% that the DLC yeah. aspect. Uh, it'll take Lori like a weekend. But. <laughs> well, I think it's more like, you know, Animal Crossing, if you're not someone who revisits games like I am as far as this game is concerned, like if you only played for like four, four or five months, you with this update, you can get more out of your game again. You can go back mm -hmm. and for another four or five months. Yeah, and I'm some. seeing that a lot with people talking about wanting to pick the game back up just to experience all the new stuff. And I mean, all the updates up to this point have been nice, but not like major like mm -hmm. this. So people who haven't played in a while are like, okay, all those updates up to this point plus this update makes me want to play yeah. again. And I think that that's kind of what they're trying to capture is some new interest in the series again. And maybe now Nintendo will put their focus towards a new game, a new Animal Crossing game. I could only hope. I could I'm really sure. Really hope. This game just, like, destroyed all of the Animal Crossing records. Like, they have to, they have to see value in making another well, game. You know, I had talked to Tiny a bit about it in the past, and I really feel like... They kind of hit it, hit on, hit on uh, what I was wanting, which was being able to go to work. But I would like to be able to work as the mayor, as a designer, as a, coffee, a barista, and or even working at the museum, like polishing stuff and feeding the fish. That would be, you know, a cute idea to be able to go to work. That's what I want. Yeah. That's you know, kind of incorporate everything from the past games. Get paid for it have to pay your rent or something you know <laughs> stuff like that it's just it's cute little concept ideas i don't know yeah but to, to make it more make yeah. it beefier yeah sure so um right now we're playing final fantasy 7 re remake uh yuffie. yuffie yuffie dlc that sound we kind of talked about it when when Lori was on the podcast she had asked well why are you doing a dlc for a whole podcast episode but, like, really, it's a, the it's DLC is almost its own game. Yeah, like, seriously. really, it is its own game. Like, it's got its own story. It's got its own, like, um, I mean, the battle system is essentially the same as Final Fantasy VII Rem Remaster, mm -hmm. Remake, however, whatever it is. Um, but because it's Yuffie, it's vastly different. And, like, they're introducing new characters, and they're introducing, like, a different twist to the story that you already know. So I'm really excited to see the rest of this game. Um, we'll be, like I said, we'll be talking about that December first. That that episode will air. Um, we haven't finished it just yet, but soon it shouldn't take too long. Yeah, I don't think so. I'll be curious to see what the final boss is going to be like. That's going to be yeah. interesting. So look forward to that. Um, anything else you want to chat about? Oh. All right, guys. Well, thank you all so much for hanging out and listening to uh, this episode of Zap Chats um, live from St. Louis. Yeah. That's interesting. Well, well not, not live, not live but... but recorded in St. Louis. Maybe we'll do more of these like roaming podcast episodes yeah. again. It's kind of neat. It, I guess it depends on how good it sounds. Yeah. I did some testing before we left, and it seemed okay. But like a little part of me is worried that it doesn't <laughs> sound good. So if it doesn't sound good, I'm so sorry. But I can see that it's recording my voice. So even yeah. if it sounds terrible for one episode, it's <laughs> one episode. So um, yeah, next podcast episode, it should sound normal if that's the case. But all right, guys, thanks again for listening. And we'll catch you guys next time. Bye.